I'm dying to know, what color trends are you most excited about right now? Green, so this year's color of the year is Evergreen Fog, it's right here. We have seen a ton of blues and while it's gorgeous, that green is really gonna be something different for 2022 and 2023. And what about in kitchens and kitchen cabinets? I know everybody's going crazy experimenting with paint. Yeah, a lot of people are getting a lot more bold with colors. The white kitchens are still in and we're still gonna see them, but more and more, again, we're seeing the blue islands and green cabinets all over. Any tips for choosing a paint color for the ceiling? Yeah, so anytime you do anything other than white on the ceiling, it does tend to bring it down. However, if you have higher ceilings or you wanna draw attention up, go crazy. Do a dark, bold color. Any one of our 2022 color trend colors would look great. And of course, why not wallpaper? What is your most requested paint color? Agreeable gray. It is agreeable. It says it in the name. It's both a little gray and a little beige. So it goes with both the traditional and the modern look for a perfectly transitional color. Love that. And what are your go-to neutrals? I have them all here. So your agreeable gray, your accessible beige, and then of course your white like extra white and alabaster if you want a little something different. Oh, and here's something we get asked a lot. What about whites for trim colors? I like the extra white because it's clean, it's crisp, it's very contemporary. But again, that alabaster gives you a little something different, especially if you're in a historical home. It gives you more of that creamy look. And what about true grays? I tend to go towards light French gray or on the rocks. You just have to make sure that nothing else is influencing the color. Like a red rug can omit some of the red onto the wall. Painted accent walls, are they in or out? I've been seeing them less and less, especially now that people are getting more bold with the ceiling and with the walls. People are less afraid to use something like Evergreen Fog on all four walls instead of just giving it to one wall. Yes. What about if you have a room that doesn't get a, a lot of natural light? Yeah, so if you look at the fan deck on the back of each color, there is a light reflective value. The lighter the color it is, the higher the number is, which means it's gonna bounce around light a lot more, get more use out of your color. So a lighter color, like this conservative gray, it's gonna give you a lot more light bouncing than a darker color like this rosemary. What are your tips when picking a sheen level? There's a lot to think about. The number one thing is to look at, that, look at your walls. If there's a lot of imperfections, maybe you need to go more flat and then think about your lifestyle. If you think that you're gonna be washing the walls a lot, maybe go with something a little bit more shiny. 